what's up and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm just gonna do a quick life update uh chit chat get ready with me um gonna i'm kind of in a rush so we're gonna whiz through this i'm starting off with some rosehip oil my skin is extremely dry and i've been breaking out like crazy this is really good at keeping my skin hydrated I usually put it on before I go to bed at night, but um, when I'm extra dry, I like to put it on before my makeup. Alright, now I'm going to be dipping into the James Charles Morphe palette. Mixing the shades right here, T and Benny together on a wet angled brush, and I'm going to be using those to fill my brows today. Just going to pick up a little bit of the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Concealer or 25 Hour, which makes absolutely no sense. And this is in the shade uh, Light Ivory. I'm just going to use that on the back of my hand and carve out my brows. a damp Morphe sponge. I'm going to go ahead and blend that down onto my lid. Next, going on top of that with the Morphe Eyelid Primer. Again, going in with my sponge and blending that out. So, um, the last little update I made, um, I wasn't in the best of places. I was actually on a whole nother um, medication. And at my last appointment, we switched over to a medication called Latuda. And that is used for bipolar depression, which is what I have. And my psychiatrist wasn't, um, I don't know, she had like a 50-50 rate of success with it. And with of all the um, problems I've had with similar medications, she wasn't convinced that it would work, but she let me try it. And that has been the absolute biggest lifesaver ever for me. I am able to fall asleep easily because I have really bad insomnia and the sleeping pills that I was given actually made things a lot worse to where I couldn't fall asleep. There were some that were really strong sedatives that actually worked complete opposite on me so I would take them and I would be wired for sound for hours on end afterwards. Um, so it took a while to find the right combination of medicine, but I started off on 20 milligrams of Latuda. Then after a week, I got bumped up to 40, and that is what I'm currently on now. And it has been the biggest life changer ever. I feel like I am in such a good spot mentally. I feel like it's changed me as a wife and a mother. I'm able to pay attention without getting irritated. I don't feel like I'm irritable anymore. I've got tons and tons of energy throughout the day. And 
another huge plus, I actually feel like filming and talking to you guys and letting you know what's going on in my life. So that's another huge thing. So I'm going, <clears throat> I first packed on B, love that. And I'm just doing packing motions first and then slightly overlapping the orange and magenta. And I will be going through and cleaning this up afterwards, but. I think I want this a little deeper. And I'm going to go back into the orange and just circular motions to blend these two seamlessly together. On the same brush, I'm going to dip into Pinkity Drinkity and just go on the very, very outside edge of this to blend it into my brow bone. Get rid of that harsh line. So I'm really liking the way the colors are working. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Which I'm almost out of. So right along my lash line, um, just big enough for the applicator to fill, I will do a nice heavy line and then I like to look up so the concealer from my lash line will transfer up and it will give me a guideline on where to actually cut my crease because I've got hooded eyes. So I'm just going in with a uh, M410 and I'm going to fill in the gaps. And for my lid, starting in the inner corner, I'm actually going to be using the Essence of Earth Highlight and Pigment in the shade Raspberry Glaze. And I'm going to pick that up on a damp M224 brush. It's just a flat use it for concealer but I like it for packing I'm going to press that in the inner corner of my lid
like crazy thank you hormones. So I'm going to be adding um, a little bit of Dermacol to 11 to my nude um, Peach Perfect to add a little bit more coverage. And I'm going to pick that up on a Morphe Y6 brush. And for initial application, I do really enjoy this because it is soft and it distributes the product pretty nice. But I always go back over it with a sponge just to pat out any fine lines or anything that the bristles have left. through so yeah, I can still see quite a bit on the back of my bro or my sponge I'm gonna do a few more extra pumps and build this up in the areas I really need it I just found this concealer at Kmart a couple weeks ago and I actually really enjoy the coverage and how this sits down where I don't need a lot of powder. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable in the shade Light Ivory. And it's not super full coverage, which I don't mind, but the way it sits down and allows powders to set on top of it is worth missing out on a little bit of extra coverage. Because I am not very young, so finding a good concealer that's not going to cake up on my under eyes and not leave me looking like the Sahara Desert is very tricky and I really enjoy this one. Next, I am going in with my Wet n Wild pressed or Photo Focus pressed powder. And I'm taking that on a Morphe Y11 brush. This is just a small, denser, angled brush. And I found that using pressed powders for my under eye helps it set a little bit better and it doesn't leave it looking as dry or cakey versus using just loose powder. You can go in and use loose powder to set the rest of my face, but um, for the under eyes, I've been reaching a lot more for a pressed powder. And for the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and this is in the shade 20. And I'm going in with a Morphe M439. This is just a dense kabuki brush. I'm really just pressing that into the skin and not doing swirling motions because that will disrupt the foundation underneath. I'm going down my neck to set any little bit that I put on there. 
But I notice when I do more of a packing motion with a kabuki brush versus a dragging motion or like swirls with a Mizu brush, <coughs> I get more of a flawless looking finish. For bronzer, which I still have not found one that beats this in my eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Sweetie Pie. And this smells like freaking peaches. And I'm using the Morphe E4 brush. I'm just bronzing up my face. And now I'm going to go in and contour. I like to use bronzer first to warm up the skin and then go in and contour. <clears throat> I'm using the Found Beauty Sculpt and Define Contour Palette in number 10. And I'm just gonna mix these two shades together. This is a cooler tone. The bronzer will help warm up the skin and then the cooler tone will help with chiseling and defining. And then mixing the two darker colors together and lightly grazing over my jawline. And hit the double chin with the darkest shade. Alright, moving on to highlighter, I think to kind of tie in with my eyes, I'm going to go back in with the Essence of Earth, and then I'm from the same line, I'm actually going to use Iceberg, and I'm going to mix a little bit of the two together. And this is a M441 brush. I'm trying to get as much product off as I can because this is very, very powerful of a glow. Look at that. That is insane. I'm going to go a little heavy handed on it and then I will pounce my damp beauty sponge back in to kind of help everything melt together. So this looks a little crazy right now, but this technique I find works best with loose um, highlighting powders versus pressed.
Like, look at that glow. It is so reflective and it leaves my skin looking like glass. Now that being still a little damp, I'm going to go back in just to intensify my cheeks a little bit more. I think I had a little bit too much concealer and it's getting a little hard to buff in right here. Much better. <clears throat> I'm using the M506 brush and I dip into our mixed powders and hit the inner corner. And drag that a little bit on my lower lash line. I think it is time for the lower lash line. Just going to run a little bit of B. And 518. Pop on some mascara. So I went ahead and finished off my mascara, popped on some liner and lashes today i use the house of beauty lashes in the style lisa on a super cute little box um yeah 
For the inner corner, I'm going to go ahead and take Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay. And just to give a little bit extra pop. Just a little extra something. All right, and for lips today, I'm taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Christmas Cookie. This is like the perfect nude color for me. And the formula is awesome. All right, so that is it for today's look. Um, just a quick sunset eye I guess I can call it um, but yeah I am getting ready to head out just want to thank you guys so much for your continued love and support my inbox has been flooded since um, one of the last videos I made talking about my mental health again if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that and you need somebody to talk to or need a recommendation for a psychiatrist I highly 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 recommend mine um, I will put her information in the uh, description box down below but before you leave don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and have your notification bell turned on so you get notified every time I upload new content thank you guys so much again and I will catch you later bye